rallies around a high school football player paralyzed after getting hurt during a game. Houston County senior Jeffrey Cox continues to defy the odds. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us with an update on how he's doing now. It's a story new at 10. That's right, Rory. You know, friends say his positive outlook and strong faith are unwavering, and that is making a big impact on his recovery. He certainly has a long road ahead of him, but people in Houston County want him and his family to know they will support him through it all. I'd love to be able to move my arms and get in. 17 year old Jeffrey Cox is grateful to be alive after a life changing football injury. I usually wake up, they do a bath, and uh, start therapy about 10 o'clock and don't finish till about 3.34. Jeffrey is paralyzed from the neck down and requires a ventilator to breathe. He's currently undergoing treatment at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, which specializes in spinal cord and brain injury rehabilitation. The Houston County High School senior fractured two vertebrae in his neck while making a routine tackle during a scrimmage in August. I hit the ground and I remember coach saying something about my helmet and then everything went black. We knew it was bad at that point. We didn't know if he was still alive. Rachel Stavely is one of many people in Houston County who have supported Jeffrey and his family by buying t-shirts and raising money to help with medical expenses. Almost every game that Houston County has played, there has been um, benefits going on, collections taken up. Friends have visited Jeffrey in Atlanta and continue to cheer him on as he shows signs of progress. Jeffrey's a fighter. He's overcome many obstacles and he has survived it very well. With Jeffrey's strength and an entire community behind him, anything is possible. God's going to perform a miracle. Jeffrey is hoping to be released from the Shepherd Center next month. His family is asking for help buying a wheelchair accessible van, and there are also plans in the works to build the family a new home that is also wheelchair accessible. The best way to help out with both of these projects is to donate to a GoFundMe account that's set up for Jeffrey, and we've got a link on newschannel5.com.